It's really about home ownership and the American dream for people who stop dreaming. We really were looking at not only eliminating homelessness, but with dealing with poverty for people. I live in the Tiny Homes neighborhood run by Cass Community Social Services and Reverend Fowler. Initially, the program was touted as a way for poor people and low income people to get generational wealth and become homeowners. We were told after seven years of paying our rent and voluntary service, which is not voluntary, she decides what we do. But long story short, when I called into question the policies and some of the stuff that I had noticed, about how the program is changing to move that bar of home ownership further and further away, I got an eviction notice. I want you to remember that tiny homes can be the solution generationally to poverty and homelessness. Nobody is questioning as, as Ford and General Motors and all these corporations are donating money and the land bank is giving her more land at discounts than they would ever dream of giving you or I as poor people in Detroit who want to own land. The bar for her home ownership is moving further and further away and nobody is questioning the fact that if these people are homeowners, how the hell are you evicting them? If these people are homeowners, how come they don't have land contracts like you mentioned on the news? If these people are homeowners, Black women matter. Yeah. Black kids 